Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have one here from Corgi in one seventy second scale diecast, of course. It is a Focke Wolf A4, uh, yellow too, obviously, and it is from JG54, or Jagashkashwara54, uh, which is a Green Hurus, or Green Hearts, as you can see right there. Um, they were formed in 1936 and would fight the entire war, um, all of World War II, until Germany's surrender. It did spend its early years on the West Front until uh, in 1941 it did transfer to the East Front where it would remain for the rest of World War II, of course. And it would become the Luftwaffe's second highest uh, scoring fighter wing uh, with over um, 9,600 victories and uh, for the loss of 491 pilots killed in action and 242 missing in action with another 322 wounded in action. This particular mount is from Heinrich Stier, who was a Luftwaffe fighter ace and a Knight's Cross recipient, of course, with um, around 130 aerial victories. Some were sort of confirmed. There's a bit of discrepancy between the uh, final number. But he was killed in action uh, while coming into land in November of 1944. And this was a second-hand purchase. And uh, I grabbed this for $55 off a seller of eBay, of course. But it is no good sitting in this box, is it? Let's get this open and have a real good look at it. So if Heinrich's fucking wolf out of the box, we'll uh, open this blister packet up and pick out this little focker wolf and have a real good look at it. In the uh, packet, of course, is the landing gear, the stand. There is an individual number on the stand as well. So there is a limited run of 2,200 of these aircraft, of course. And we will have a little look at this focker wolf. The color scheme on this is very, um, very different. <laughs> it is quite uh, unique and standout-ish. The uh, different uh, greys, greens and uh, blacks, it's just uh, quite an interesting paint scheme. And I think this this rendition from Corgi, it does come up fantastic. We will have a little close up at the engine first and uh, have a little look inside there. You can see a little bit of the radial engine detail there. The uh, propeller does spin nice and smoothly. It does have uh, a badge on the front of the nose there. And of course the green heart there it does have some reasonable details on the wing of course and there is the yellow two and the identification band on the east front the yellow identification band and a little bit on the uh, rudder bottom of the rudder as well being corgi it does have that uh, period correct marking on the tail of course we'll have a little look on this side we'll run down this side of the aircraft I reckon this does come up very nicely. This uh, paint scheme itself is quite unusual, I must say. And I reckon it does look very good. You can see the, the guns are on nicely. It does look very nice. It does come up a treat. It's going to be another nice Focke Wolf from Corgi, of course. And uh, I reckon if you can get your hands on one of these, uh, go for it. This is a pretty good looking one. We will turn it over and have a little look underneath. And what do we see? Uh, just the normal sort of uh, pale blue underneath. It's got some uh, yellow identification markings on the wingtips and under the front of the cowl. And, of course, that band goes right across the, the fuselage. And uh, it does have some coloration in the wheel wells, of course, where we will be putting the landing gear. And, of course, the tail wheel must go in there. And uh, speaking of that, what we'll do is we'll quickly uh, kit this out with some landing gear and come right back. And we're back, straightforward process, you just put your two landing gear parts in, and then of course there's a central landing gear piece you, you put in there. Um, the wheels actually do rotate a little bit, but they are quite stiff, so um, you know if you're playing with them, you might end up pulling your landing gear off again, and you'll have to keep putting it back on. Of course your tail wheel you just chuck straight on, and that is job done. This is another completed Focke Wolf from Corgi, and I reckon it is a very nice looking one, and I reckon it's pretty cool, so I am definitely a fan of this camouflage scheme. And I reckon it looks pretty cool. And of course, you know, you just uh, whack it on that stand. It does have its limited number on that stand as well. It's one of those particular type of stands. It has a, it, this doesn't come with a card. It just has the uh, limited run on the stand that's allocated to each model. And then you chuck this on the deck and that is completed. We will definitely have to zoom in. 
is these butcher birds are not very large as you can see sausage finger test it is quite small so uh i will wind this video up of course and uh you know the drill i will take some happy snaps of this and you can check it out in a bit more detail without these fat fingers in your face so once again this is the focke wolf uh, 190 a4 as flown by um heinrich Stier. um it's yellow too uh from jg54 march of 1943 and it is 172 second scale die cast made by Corgi from the Aviation Archive. And I do think this is a nice looking unit for sure. So, and hopefully you do. If you do, hey, throw us a like if you can spare that time. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, feel free to do that as well. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it immensely. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.